Hello friends, good morning. I wanted to share a short um, yoga session, maybe a little bit on the um, subtle strong speed, meaning inward and still holding of movements and holding not in pain, but right at the edge of where it is not the most comfortable. If it's pain, it's backing out, but where it's like, oh, okay, just try to stay there for a breath longer, if it's available to you. If not, just go to wherever the edge is for you and breathe there and then come back out. But in this session, we're just going to hold a moment longer. So come to a seat wherever you are sitting with the bottom really firmly on the base of wherever you're sitting. If it's a floor, a yoga mat, bed, couch, chair, doesn't matter. Lean forward, lean back, left and right, and make sure your bum's really sturdy on the seat. Bring your hands, one to heart, in the middle of the chest rather, and one down to the belly region. And just start to breathe in and through the palms of the hands. Just feel the breath reaching in towards those spaces. Feel the body rise and fall with the breath and see if it can't, see if it doesn't soothe your mind and your thoughts. Giving you something to focus on with feeling and reaching for that inner awareness, inner intention. I'm relaxing my mind, I'm relaxing my body. Take a nice big deep breath in, just hold on to it for a moment. And right before you're ready to exhale, see if you can pull a little bit more in, and hold it in a moment longer. And then when you're ready, part your lips and just slowly with control, blow it all the way away for as long as you possibly can. Wait for the breath to come naturally in through the nose and just relax in your space for a moment. If you wish to consent to some healing energy, I'm going to send blessings for our travels for the day, for the rest of the week, for those that we encounter and their loved ones, for our loved ones, and for their journeys. I'm going to thank Source for acknowledging. Thank God for hearing me. Thank Rose for guiding me. Thanking Yoga for giving me a space to come into union with my mind and body. Take a nice big deep breath and exhale. Blink the eyes open and just shake the hands a little. Turn the head left and right, looking over the shoulders. Let the spine sit up nice and tall. Bring the hands down to the knees or thighs. Sitting up nice and tall, lean in to the seat, almost like you're gonna look over the edge. Try to keep your bum down, but lean in. Now, if you're not sitting flat on the seat, you have your legs raised, you can do the same exact way. However your legs are positioned, however your body's positioned, just do this reaching in as much as you can. Face, head, neck, eyes, jaw, relax. Sorry, the neck is nice and strong. Don't let your head drop and don't be reaching up. Just leave it nice and long line, almost from the bottom of the, from the base of the tailbone all the way up to the top of the, the bottom of the neck. And then if your neck is strong enough, neck to the top of the crown. If it starts to feel uncomfortable, just back out whenever you need. But just stay here for a moment. Hands are at knees, or on thighs. You can let that sort of support. You can shift your weight. Sometimes pressing into the thighs can sort of help open the hips and relax the neck and give you some upper back relief.
take a breath in and if you feel like you can reach in a little more do that maybe you want to bring your hands in front of you and come down lower try to keep the bum all the way on the seat though if you're reaching up way way off of the seat reach back down unless it's feeling really good in your legs and um lower body if it's feeling really good to let your body rise up do that but for the most part keep that base on the floor and let your arms and front um legs feet bum let it all sort of help support you relax the face relax the jaw sturdy the neck with the nose look right and then look left even if your hands are here, look right, look left. Just do that a couple times, trying to keep the neck in the same line as the spine as much as you can through this. Inhale, back from the center space when you're done with that left and right, coming back to center. Inhale, look up with the nose. Exhale, bring the nose down so the chin touches the chest, if that's available to you. If you can't reach that far, just go as much as you can without pain. Inhale, bring the nose up, looking up to the sky as much as you can without pain. Exhale, bringing the nose down, chin to chest. Take another breath in, reach down as close to the ground as you can. And then exhale, as you're exhaling, sit the body up, sit the body up, up, up. your arms relax lap on the lap palms up or down you decide you can put them on the heart and belly if that feels more comfortable feel energy moving around the seat of your um, bum around your seat up the back of your spine maybe through the back and shoulders maybe between your ears Relax and let your energy swirl and move around through you. And just notice it. Nice big deep breath in. Hold on to it for a second. Exhale, blow out of the part the lips, blow it all the way away. Blink the eyes open again. Now we're gonna come on to this, we're gonna let the legs come out in front of us. I'm just gonna turn so you can see a little better. Let the legs go out in front, feet square up, lean in again on the seat, left and right. Let the seat come away. So you might even get your hands sort of pull the um, fleshy parts of the seat away. Sit up nice and tall, flex the toes from the hands next to you on the sides of the mat. Inhale and reach the arms up next to your ears, palms facing each other. Bring that head and neck in line with the spine. Try to make it as square, as much of a 90 degree angle as you can with your mind. Take a minute, let the head go left and right. Open and close the shoulders. Get them up nice and as straight as you can in your mind without pain or discomfort. Let the knees bend and then straighten again. Go as straight as your comfort is. If you need to keep more of a bend, do that. But just try wherever you are with your legs to have those feet flex so that your toes are pointed. You don't want them super relaxed. It's going to support you more to have them um, more in that strengthening position than the flexing. You can alternate, but for, for the beginning, try to do the strengthening, the um, flex, up, flex up toes. Wherever your legs are, when you're nice and sturdy, when you feel like you're good there, Wiggling the ankles out, letting the knees shake out, whatever you got to do to get them nice and relaxed for a moment. Flex the feet, strengthen the ankles. Let the legs in the middle kind of relax. Pressing into the tailbone, the sits bones. Reaching up through the spine, energizing it, but not overworking your spine. Letting the arms and shoulders be active, but not overreaching. Once you get them there, sort of take a breath and let them just be there. Find something to focus on with your eyes. Maybe something right in front of you. Maybe something right above your eyebrow level. Let your breath be deep in the beginning and then get relaxed. 
help see if you can let your breath help relax the joints and the muscles working to hold your body in the shape see if you can kind of forget that you're doing it and focus on the thing that you're looking at with your eyes just looking 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 breathing and letting the feelings sort of just be in the body for a moment whenever it's done or you've reached your edge if there is not another breath in you come back out if there's any pain certainly come out now but if you can be here for a moment, reaching the fingers to the sky, sits bones down into the ground, into the earth, legs long and as straight as you can without any comfort and pain, bending the knees if that feels better, flexing the toes, spread the toes, the ankles are nice and sturdy, rooted into the ground but not pressing, feeling energy from the soles of my feet, tips of my toes pointing to the sky, jaw is relaxed, facial muscles relaxed, eyes focused. Breath is with me, it's starting to relax. How's your breath now? You're doing really well no matter where you are in this space. Listening to you and your body is the best thing that you can always do for you and your body. Whenever you're coming out to start to relax, see if you can keep your eyes focused as you come out of the shape and find your way into a relax. If you're still with me, just keep reaching the fingers, reaching the toes. Another two breaths. The next breath away, see if you can reach a little more. And then as you exhale, let everything start to, start to come back in and relax. Let the arms come down slowly, slowly. Keep your eyes focused. Let the legs now point into that flexing. The, the knees sort of relax, the toes relax, the ankles relax. Shoulders relax, melt, spine sort of sinks in itself. Let the head and neck go a little left and right. Chin starts to reach to the chest. The back will round away. As your breath relaxes, feel the energy sort of start to swirl downward. Notice where it's moving upward. Are there palms, are your palms face up or down here? What feels better to you? Relaxing the knees, relaxing the toes, the soles of the feet, the backs of the thighs, underneath the bum, the jaws, the eyes, relaxing the face. Nice breath in, exhale, blow it all the way away. Blink the eyes open, wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers, wiggle the shoulders, head, just give everything a little wiggle. Then we're gonna come onto hands and knees for a moment. This is the part where you decide where you stop, where you stay, what your edge is, fill in the blank. You go as far as it feels good. When you're done, you're done. When you get to where you feel like, well, this is good. This is, I feel strong. I feel stable. I'm going to stop. That's where you stop. Always listen to yourself. You can always play this back later and do it again and see if you can go further if you want to. Um, if you are get to any space in this and you want ideas for adjusting for a different ability or a different reach, maybe a different height or, um, if you have a past injury, you know, like I, I don't have all the mobility in this ankle because there are parts of my joint that refuse so that they could rebuild my heel. So there are parts of this foot that just can't foot like this foot. Just because it can't, it just only ain't built that way. You know, there's several joints just not there. It would be really uncomfortable. So you see where your edge is, you know where to stop and go. Sitting on the knees, sitting back as much as you can. You can have a pillow here. You can have the seat raised. You can sit all the way up if that feels better. We're just gonna be on the knees for a moment, patting under the knees if that feels better. Take the knees a little wider than where you started. So you're thinking at least shoulder width. At least shoulder width, but maybe a little wider. Let the hips start to reach forward. If you're down here, 
Just let the hips reach forward, the spine sits back. Breath in, no matter where you are, and sitting up. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, slowly fold, fold, fold. Come down, almost like you're going on the hands and knees. Yeah, like you are going on the hands and knees. Keeping those knees a little wider, still. Palms face down. Again, try to mirror... Try to mirror the palm to the knee. So even have those a little wider. You don't want your hands in front of you like this. Give yourself space so that you can breathe the heart and chest in and out. And there's an opening between the legs and the shoulders to allow for that motion. From first, just a nice square, uh, I guess it would be 90 degrees all the way around. Nice square box table. Just breathe into the space for a moment. Let the spine feel as straight as it feels good in your body, face, jaw, relaxed. But neck is holding yourself in that straight spine again, not dropping to the ground, not yanking and pulling up, nice and straight as much as you can. Take a breath in, pick up that left palm, face it down reverse so that the now palm is face up, thumb is turned inward to my right, and I'm just breathing into it face, just reversed a little. Pick it up, make a couple circles, press it back down. Do the same with the opposite. You're just flipping and reversing, stretching into that wrist for just a nice breath. Make a couple of circles, put it back. Take the toes, press them into the mat, and then straighten them down again. Do that a couple times, sort of warm the ankles. Back from tabletop, straighten everything for a moment. Take a breath in, drop the belly, lift the jaw. Let the um, sits bones sort of release and let that front lower belly reach toward the ground. Press into the knees, press into the tops of the feet. See if you can help that happen some more. The lower belly will just reach toward the ground. Let the gravity sort of help you here and breathe for a moment. Next breath in, see if you can feel your belly button reach toward the ground and then exhale, slowly round the back, bring the chin into the chest. Sits bones will close a little and come up into the first cat. Press the palms, press the feet, see if you can reach the spine higher up to the sky. Big breath in, spine goes high. Exhale, lower the belly. Bring the chin up. Go down in the cow. Breath in, belly goes low. Exhale, round the spine up in the cat. Exhale, looking back up at the chin, belly goes low, down in the cow. Move a few times with your breath. It's faster, slow as you wish. And then meet me back at tabletop when you're done there. Bring the knees in a little, bring the palms in a little, a little more square, like more of a, um, underneath your your mate your frame a little more not as wide as we were before here's where you decide your stop and your where you stop and where you where you are good press the toes into the mat press the toes into the mat a lot press the index fingers and thumbs into the mat a lot take a breath in lift the knees hold that for a second let it back down press the toes press the palms especially the index fingers inhale lift the knees Hold that for a second if that feels good. Another breath in. Send the bum high. Send the chin and chest low. Let the feet flatten as much as you can. Keep a bend in the knees as much as you want. and Send that body up into your downward dog. Pressing into the palms, especially the index fingers and the thumbs a lot. Big toes. Keeping that bend, especially if this is the first time you've had this shape today. Mine. Let the head sort of shake no. Staying here as long as it's comfortable in your body, not a moment longer. If there's any pain, come back out. Maybe find something to stare on if that helps. It always usually, usually will help me bring my body to my awareness in my breath versus what I'm feeling in my uh, I'm feeling my shoulders right now. I'm feeling the backs of my legs. But I'm also feeling my breath. And I'm noticing my awareness of this lovely dot on my yoga mat. 
Thank you, Dot, for bringing my awareness to you instead of the feelings in my upper arms now. I'm going to take a breath in, send my bum a little higher if you're still here in Downward Dog. Take my eyes first, looking to the palms, and then lower, 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 slow, slow, low, lowy, down to the mat with the knees. Bring the toes together, send the knees wide, bring that body, the front body down, low as you can for child's pose. Maybe take two fists. Stack them on top of each other and put your forehead on top of there, that third eye space. Big breath in, relax. Another breath in, exhale it away. As you're here, no matter where you are, if this is not comfortable in the body, maybe you wanna go lower. You can take the arms lower and go down with the head and the chin and the chest as much as feels good. And stay high as much as feels good. You decide. If you get comfortable in that cradle back there with your pelvis, take the knees a little wider. Sit back in there a little more. See, let yourself sink and be in this space for a breath or two. Stay where you're at if it feels good enough, if you're just comfortable, if you're enjoying the stretch. Sink a little more, wiggle in a little more if you're wanting more in this space. Now we have one more posture I want to offer. We're going to sort of move into a, a little bit of a dolphin pose and a setup for headstand. Follow me as much as it feels good and whenever you're ready to stop, just stop please. Um, like I said, you can always come back and play it again later and ask me any questions if there's anything that's not clear. Being safe and honoring your body is more important than getting into a shape or a pose right away. The pose is just an idea for you to reach into play in your body as far as I'm concerned. So let's start to bring the knees and the hands back up in the table. This time, start to, um, for, for the dolphin setup, we're going to bring the forearms down. Bring the forearms down as much as you can. Maybe you take the knees a little wider. And then take the hands and clasp them together. Or take the hands and press them flat on the ground. You decide which one feels better, which one feels stronger. Or... Take the hands and make two fists and push them into the ground. I think I'm going to start with my hands pressing flat. Head and neck, spine aligned. Knees pressing into the ground. Inhale, press the palms, press the toes into the ground. First, lift my knees. And then back down. Inhale, lift my knees, send my bum high. And then back down. This time I'm going to interlace my fingers because I'm thinking it's going to give me some more strength. Just that support. So hands in front, interlace my fingers. Spine, neck align. Press into the triangle in my forearms. Press into my shoulders. Press into my toes. Inhale, lift my hips. Send the Bum high as you can, bend the knees if you still need, walk the feet in a little bit if that feels good. If this isn't comfortable, back out. Any moment you need to kind of bend the knees and the bum higher, that might give you some more reach. Take the hands and adjust or wiggle. Make fists or put them flat. That might help. Just give you some more comfort. Help you stay in the pose if you're wanting. Just imagine the bum nice and high. Chin reaching to the chest. Well, or chin reaching to the, um, sorry. Forehead reaching to the ground. Chin not quite, not, you don't want to reach the chin to the chest too much. You want the head and the neck spine aligned. Mine was reaching to the chest because I was like talking. 
Pressing into the forearms, the shoulders, big toes. One more breath, bum really high. Exhale, start to lower, 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 lower the knees, lower the knees, straighten the spine. Bring the toes together, send the knees really wide. Nestle back in a child's pose as much as you want, as much as you can, whatever feels good. Stay here for a few breaths. Notice your energy swirling. Inhale and exhale. Let yourself come up out of that child's pose. Find your way back to your seat. Put your hands back on your body, one on the middle of your chest, one on the belly, or one on your legs, whatever feels good and strong and stable and confident in your body. Breathe into those centers again, wherever they are. Bringing that awareness back to that space between the hands and the body, the breath and the being, the awareness and what is. Thank your mind, thank your body. Thank yourself for taking this time to care for you and your energy. Bring the hands into prayer, relax the jaws, blink the eyes. Thank you so much for sharing time with me, for playing in the postures as much as it felt good and strong in your body. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Talk to you next time, soon, later. Bye friends.